ました。はい。あれですよね。これがこれが。あはこっちね。はいはい。これが。はいはい。こっちの中でね。はい。えこれでいいんです。あの一番最初これから始めますので。うん、あこれをねこのこれが教科書になるんですよ。あそうですか。<笑>英語の中。すごいね。Hello, thank you everyone for coming. And today we have Ms. Michiko Yamaoka as the guest speaker. And first, I want to thank the Ohio State University for inviting her to Columbus, and they contacted us and shared her with us. And she has a very busy schedule, uh, regardless, despite her jet lag. And she gave two talks yesterday. And she will, right after our presentation, she will go to Bowling, Bowling Green State University to give another presentation. And then she will give three talks tomorrow. But she's determined to do it because she feels, strongly feels that it is very important for her. And she is a atomic bomb legacy successor. And it is different from a survivor, and she will talk about it during her talk. But uh, we, because we will have to end at 12.50, let's get started without further ado. So could you please welcome Ms. Yamaoka. Thank you for coming here. <laughs> my name is Michiko Yamaoka. Please call me Miko. My parents survived a -bon. I am second generation a -bon survivor. Uh, this is my mother. And survived a -bon. But my mother sister Atsuko died in the bombing. Now I am going to talk about my mother and her sister. At that time, my mother was 20 years old. Her sister was 13. Let me open by saying that survivors of the Avon do not blame Americans directly. They understand Japan's role in the war and consequences of that participation. What survivors truly hate war itself. Hearing their first hand experiences might lead you to the same conclusion. First, I would like to ah first, I would like to talk about the situation in Japan just before the bombing. The war was getting hard for Japan. We did not have enough food, so we suffered from constant hunger. But we were forced to be patient until the war ended. This is a uh, uh, This is a uh, Hiroshima. Memory Museum. Did you go to the Hiroshima? No? <laughs> In the museum, there are a lot of miserable pictures on display. I used uh, some of these pictures to talk about the Avon. If you feel scared, you can look down. Please think about the true nature of war. In the museum, there are a lot of cross display as a mementos, which are kept just as students wore them during the bombing. There are damaged junior high school student uniform on display. These uniforms are the same size of modern elementary school uniforms. At that time, food supply and other resources had run out. 
We grew pumpkins and sweet potatoes, even in the playground of elementary schools. Japanese government and Japanese military strictly control the thought of the people and flow of information until the war ended. Anyone who opposed the war was called traitor and was arrested. People were not allowed to express their feelings against the war. In addition, education put under the control of military officials. Maybe you have heard Kamikaze pilot, do you know it? Around the end of the war, young Japanese pilot attacked American military ships. It cost those young pilot lives. They thought it was the right thing to do because they were educated that way. They were indoctrinated. The young pilot wanted to save their country. It was believed they would become gods after they attacked their enemy with kamikaze strike. Even Japanese civilians respected those soldiers. The pilot sacrificed themselves to try to win the war because of nation mistaken militaristic policy. There were about 3.1 million war victims in Japan, 2.3 million soldiers, and rest were civilians. Next, I would like to talk about the Avon. In 1942, American scientists started a secret three years long project to develop nuclear weapons. In September of 1944, two leaders of US and UK Roosevelt and Churchill decided to use atomic bomb on Japan. A special crew was formed to drop the A-bomb. They trade hard when over in Utah. To practice, the plane released a bomb while flying horizontally to maximize its distance from the explosion. This would give the plane enough time to turn quickly and escape without being damaged. If the plane flew across the ground to lower the margin of error, the plane would be destroyed like this. Inorage flew horizontally, and as soon as the bomb dropped, they made a quick turn, turning 155 degrees. They'd be very important to escape from shock waves. At that time, America was not confident to develop an atomic bomb, so they tried two types. Eventually, they succeeded with both ways in 1945. One uranium bomb and two plutonium bombs were made. Trigger for plutonium is very, very complicated. So US military needed to test to see if it works. Therefore, this test carrying out in the desert, Alamogordo, New Mexico, and it was a success. July 16, 1945. The same days, USS Indianapolis left San Francisco heading for Tinian Island. This ship carried two atomic bombs which would be used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They moved training from Utah to Japan. About two weeks before the bombing, the US practice with dummy bomb. It's called pumpkin bomb. They, not, they only contain conventional bomb. Between July and August of 1945, uh, the Between July and August of 1945, the U.S. used these simulated bombs 49 times with B-29 bombers. Because of training, Inora Gay dropped atomic bomb near the target and escaped from shockwave successfully. At that time, Japan had lost control of its airspace. Japan was on the verge of surrender. B-29 Bama was the most advanced plane in the world at that time. The plane flew too high in the sky to attack. No fighter plane could attack them. Before the bombing, 
Not only big city like Tokyo or Osaka, small local town was also attacked by indiscriminate bombing. Actually, Japan was only winning for the first six months after the war started. After that, Japan started losing, but, but the Japanese leader kept saying, we were winning. They not only said to the soldiers, but also civilians, fight to the end, kill yourself before being captured. They did not care how many soldiers and civilians die. Many Japanese people die in vain. Maybe you haven't heard Tokyo Air Race. Do you know it? On March 1945, Tokyo had been destroyed completely by fire bombs. Tokyo Air Race was the sum of the biggest human history because within a few hours, 100,000 people were killed by bombs. Please look, people burned black. But at that time, Hiroshima City had not been born yet. Therefore, the city made a preparation. During the war, junior high school students worked to demolish buildings to make gaps to stop fire from spreading. On that day, my mother, sister, one of them. Ah, sorry. On August 6, about 84,000 students were demolished building in Hiroshima City. Nearly uh, 6,300 of them were killed by the A-bomb. This picture taken by American military on July 25th 1945, RB-29 bomber flew over Hiroshima City many times, but it didn't drop any bombs. Instead, they took many pictures to help choose a target for the Avon. So they decided to target the point, Aioi Bridge. Aioi Bridge is located center of Hiroshima City. These thick white line were area where buildings were demolished for fire breaks. This is uh, near the target point. T-shaped IOI bridge, very unique. So they could find it from plane. That was easy spot as a target. These white line, white gaps, fire breaks. Just a moment. Uh, this is uh, Avon Dome. This is a target uh, bridge. This area now uh, only Peace Memorial Park. This is a uh, Peace Memorial Museum. This street called Peace Boulevard. To make this street, the city made of youth space where Mobilet Junior High School student had helped demolish building. That's why there are a lot of monuments around this area. Here is a flight plan. The Bama came to Hiroshima on August 6. Three days later, they went to Kokura. But that day, the city was crowded. Visibility was poor. So they had to change the target to Nagasaki. Pilot heading to Nagasaki, they found problem with one of few tanks. So they were in a panic. They rushed to Nagasaki and missed the target. Nagasaki bomb did not explode in the city center, but in the countryside instead. The power of Nagasaki bomb was 1.3 times more powerful than Hiroshima bomb, but the damage to Hiroshima city was much worse than Nagasaki. They stopped off Okinawa to refuel and then returned to Tinian Island. Okinawa was already under American control. Why was Hiroshima chosen as a target? I would like to talk about how target for the A-bomb was selected. 
Initially, 70 cities were selected as a potential target because of this. Conventional bombing in target city was prohibited. After that, most of the city were removed from the list. The final target city is Hiroshima, Kokura, Nagasaki. Hiroshima, Kokura, Nagasaki. Hiroshima was the first choice because it had the right condition for measuring the effect of the Avon. Uh, this is Hiroshima. This is Tokyo, this is Hiroshima city here. This is a map of Hiroshima city. Hiroshima city is very flat and surrounded by mountain. Target city was selected from those with urban area at least three miles in diameter to study the effect of the Avon. And it was thought to be the only city without allied prisoner of war camps. But in fact, 12 American prisoners were here and they were killed the Avon. These were American prisoners. They were killed the Avon. But Mr. Cartwright, he survived because he was under interrogation in Tokyo that day. After World War II, he said, Japanese interrogator asked him why this important like Hiroshima had not been born. He didn't know that Hiroshima city was one of the possible targets. He visited Hiroshima to pay his respect to his crew in 1999. He said, the pain of the people of Hiroshima is also my pain. Why, was the hero, uh, why did not the U.S. target Tokyo or Kyoto? Tokyo had already been completely destroyed by fire bombs. Kyoto, do you know Kyoto? Okay. Uh, Kyoto was the capital of Japan and the home of the emperor for 1,000 years. The city is rich with historical site. The U.S. thought it would, be, uh, it would be a mistake to attack a city so central Japanese culture. Because after the war, it would be more difficult to get the cooperation of the Japanese people during the occupation. That's why Kyoto was removed by possible target. Uh, this is uh, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. This is the Hiroshima Peace Memorial uh, Museum. I hope you understand my explanation, okay? <laughs> Ten years ago, when I lost my husband, my friend suggested I became a guide in Peace Park for Japanese people. I was very surprised. There are a lot of people from all over the world. One day, Tourist asked me where is the museum. I couldn't reply his answer in English at all because when I was a student, I hated English. <laughs> so I studied English very hard since then. It is very difficult for me to explain about the able in a foreign language, but I do my best to memorize my speeches. I'm not perfect. <laughs> Please forgive me if I make mistake with my English. And so uh, my English pronunciation is very, very strong Japanese accent. <laughs> and now, uh, next year, I will be 90. <laughs> 90. We say Obacha, grandmother. Okay? This is the target bridge, hypocenter, 300 meters away from the Aoi Bridge. This area now only park. Used to be a commercial area, very busy downtown. Uh, before the Avon door, Hiroshima Prefecture Industrial Promotional Hall, the hall was used to display and sell product from prefecture. On August 6, 1945, only one B-29 flew over Hiroshima City to 
check the weather. The air is warning was sounded at 7 09. Nothing happened. The all clear was sounded at 7 31. People left air is shelter and returned their lives. However, the sky was clear. So US decided to use atomic bomb on Hiroshima. There were already three airplanes flying toward Hiroshima. One of these airplanes called Inora Gay. It carried atomic A-bomb. The first plane dropped. Three pieces of equipment, two major and temperature and air pressure before and after the explosion. While parachuting the three transmitter collect and sent the data back to the receiver on the plane. This equipment survived the A-bomb, one of the display in the museum. Uh, he is Captain Chibitz. Inorage was named after his mother. Her name is Inorage Chibitz. He wrote her name to show respect for her because she was always encouraged him as a good pilot. He wrote her name this plane by hand. He was given a special medal soon after he came back to Tinia Island to price the success of his special mission. His mother's proud of him all her life. This is the target bridge. Target bridge came into the sight of Inora Gay. They dropped atomic bomb by eyes using a bomb sight. So uh, clear sky is very important for targeting the able because they use their eye to find the target. But weather would block their vision. Inora Gay dropped atomic bomb like this. You can find the, uh, this film, internet, YouTube. Please check it out. Inora Gay released a bomb from altitude about 10 kilometers. At that time, this bomb had no driving power or steering device. It made free fall to the epicenter, only just drop. It took 43 seconds. It was uh, barely enough time. Inora Gay escaped from shock wave. Height of 600 meters is very intentional. This bomb dropped on Hiroshima, it's called Little Boy. This bomb dropped on Nagasaki, it's called Fatman. Please look, these are antenna. Yagi antenna. An antenna was used to measure the height. When the bomb fell, it emitted radio signal to measure distance to the ground. When measured 600 meters, little boy automatically exploded. At that height, the power of explosion was much more effective. An explosion at that height would be able to destroy the largest area with the most devastating effect. Mr. Yagi, Japanese professor, he registered the patent in the US in 1932. So ironically, Japanese technology to use to drop the Avon. Now these antennas are uh, used, TV antenna all over the world. Actually, very great high, very great high. 300 meters of target was another miss. As I said, they had practiced with dummy bone. It's called pumpkin bone. That's why no miss. One second after, huge fireball generated the center of Hiroshima City. The huge fireball emit radiation, heat rays, and blast. I would like to talk about the damage caused by the atomic A-bomb. Radiation, heat rays, blast, and super high temperature. I would like to talk about radiation. The A-bomb released a massive amount of radiation that causes serious damage to all living things. Radiation 
uh, release within one minute of the explosion. It's called initial radiation. It causes serious damage to living cells. The explosion left residual radiation on the ground for several days, according to American research. Next, I would like to talk about the heat rays. People were mistaken about the heat. The temperature on the ground near the hypercenter rose three to 4,000 degrees Celsius in 1.4 seconds. Despite the rumor, people did not melt or evaporate because it happened too fast. This picture uh, displayed in the museum. Please look. This part did not get burned because he was wearing stomach band. Stomach band protect his skin. He was wearing black pants. Black absorbed more light than other colors. Uh, please look. This part did not get burned because his arm protect uh, this, uh, his skin. She must have been wearing a thick shirt. That's why her back is not burned as bad as her arm. I hope you understand my explanation about the heat rays. People did not melt or evaporate. It happened too fast. Okay? Okay. Next, I would like to talk about the blast. The speed of the blast was 440 meters per second. It was tremendous. Uh, blast and, uh, and then uh, vacuum. Mm -hmm. uh, and the air rushed back in. Please look. Eyeballs popped out because of low air pressure. This picture shows the breakdown of the energy released from the A-bomb. In the blast, heat rays, radiation interacted in complex ways to inflict tremendous damage. Next, I would like to talk about the super high temperature fire. On the ground, air was quickly sucked into the hypercenter from the surrounding area after the shock wave. The city became a huge stop with a mushroom cloud, like a chimney. A smaller fire grew into the huge fire 20 minutes after the explosion. The extremely hot fires melted everything, not normal fire. Uh, this melted bottle uh, displayed in the museum. Area within a two kilometer radius of the hypercenter were burned to the ground. Please compare. This is before, this is after, this is a hypercenter. This uh, area, uh, Hiroshima Castle. Before and after. This is a uh, target bridge survived able. This is target bridge survived able. This is a hypocenter. Some concrete building remained standing. This is a Avon Dome. This picture is three months after the Avon. Uh, this uh, target bridge and this bridge survived Avon. Almost, um, most bridges are designed to handle pressure from above. That's why survived Avon. This picture taken by American military three months after the Avon. Uh, this picture taken from Hiroshima Station facing Seto Inland Sea. This is Ninoshima Island. This is Ninoshima Island. Please remember it. On that day, uh, 350,000 people lived in the city. By the end of 1945, about 140,000 people were killed by the Avon. 
Half of them were killed instantly. As of now, uh, even victims number and the survivors number, victims number here. Many survivors continue to die year after year, but it is impossible to know how many have died due to the Avon because it is very difficult to prove the connection between radiation and the cause of death. Let's get back my mother's story. In the museum, there are a lot of pictures painted by survivors. I'm sorry, my mother was not good at drawing. So I would tell my mother's story using other survivors' picture. I think it is very easy to understand this way. Uh, this is a hypocenter. Uh, at that time, my mother and my mother's sister lived 3.5 kilometers from the hypocenter. The rest of their family nearby, but outside of Hiroshima city. On that day, my mother's sister left her home as usually cheerful voice. See you later, she went to demolish building 1.2 kilometers from the hypercenter. My mother was at home. My mother said, when a bomb exploded, there was bright orange flash. I fainted. I'm not sure how long I was unconscious, but when I recovered my senses, the town was already engulfed black smoke and dead flames. There were people covered in blood who had fled the city center. They looked like ghosts. Most were completely naked. Some were wearing what I assumed to be that of clothing. But when I looked closer, I was shocked to find those that were in fact hanging skin, black with suits. Many victims were so deformed, we couldn't make out whether they were male or female. People cried, help me. Seeing so many dead people before my eyes was devastating. Many victims went to the big water tank to drink. The inside their bodies are badly damaged by the radiation although they were dehydrated. The water was too great shock, and they died. Countless people were trapped under the collapsed building and burned alive. Even now, many survivors cannot overcome their trauma. For instance, a survivor repeatedly promised a person trapped in the wreckage he would return to save her. However, he left her behind and never came back. Even now, he is haunted by what he did that day. Many survivors can't talk about what happened to them. They have closed their hearts, unwilling to remember that horrible day. But now, few survivors have begun to tell others. They think it is their duty to pass on their story to the younger generation before they passed away. This uh, picture shows elementary school building collapse. Little girl trapped the building. This is teacher saying, I'm sorry, I can't save you. She burned alive. A fire started 20 minutes after the explosion and continued all night. My mother said, the sky was red whenever I see a fiery sunset. I am reminded of how painful and terrible the bombing was. I don't like to look at the sunset anymore. At times like this, not only my mother, but others, survivors, cannot forget the horrible scene we even felt. Even now, some survivors don't want to see the even dawn or come to Peace Park. Next day, the fire had settled down. Some concrete building remained standing. My mother went to the 
a city to look for her sister. People looking for their family or co-workers frantically. But there are a lot of debris and dead bodies. My mother was too scared to move. My mother told me about this with tears in her eyes. Looking for my sister, I ran around the city, peering into the faces of each person. I thought each one could be my sister. I rushed to them, but it was always someone else. At the sight of the black something, I came closer. It was the mother holding her baby. Some victims' bodies are burnt black. Some part of their bodies are white. Because maggot, you know maggot. Maggot covered their skin. Many victims were lying on the ground. They all appear to be dead, but some are still breathing faintly. Many victims die crying for water. Give me a water, help me. While looking for her sister, victims asked my mother to give them water. My mother didn't give them any water because at that time, people thought giving water to victims would kill them. This topic comes up. My mother can't stop crying. She says she would never forget the look their eyes as they pleaded for water. Many victims went to the river to escape from fire to cool themselves. Many corpses floated in the river. My mother thought many bodies drifting up and down the river with the tides. A lot of uh, body piled up Yokoga Bridge because of bend in the river, 1.4 kilometers from the hypocenter, like this. Many thousand bodies had to be cremated before their identity were verified. The city smelled horrible. Those ashes brought here and kept in the crypt. This is Atomic Bomb Memorial Mound in the Peace Park. This is a crypt under the, this mound. About 70,000 unidentified remains were kept in the crypt. When road and building were being constructed, people found more remains. These are layers of earth under the Peace Memorial Park. During construction of Peace Park, new soil was brought into the raised damage area, its present height. Now we are here. Uh, this black zone was made by the bombing. At that time, uh, Peace Memorial Park, before me, uh, uh, Memorial Park, uh, 4,400 uh, people lived in the Peace Park. All of them were killed by the Avon instantly. Even now, there are human remains in the soil under the Peace Park. I think Peace Park is a uh, like grave. Even recently, 2004, unidentified remains are found in a small island called Ninoshima Island. This is a hypocenter. At that time, many victims were taken to Ninoshima for treatment. Ninoshima had a big quarantine station with a lot of medicine, hospital, doctor. My mother had her sister Ninoshima Island. My mother went to the island. The hospital was filled with victims grown. Mom, mom, it's hot, it's hot. My mother called out, Atsuko, Atsuko, which her sister named to look for her. My mother heard her sister faint voice. I'm here, I'm here. My mother laughed to her. But her face burned swollen. My mother could only recognize from her voice. But she finally found her sister there and took her back home. But she died two days later on August 10, 1945. Until the very end, my aunt repeatedly asked my mother, are you OK? She seemed more worried about my mother than herself. 
even though she knew she would die soon. She was cremated on opening near her house. Her ashes put in her family grave. But in Hiroshima, there are a lot of graves without atomic victims' ashes inside. As we st still don't know where and how they die. My mother told me I never forget bitterness or frustration of not being able to do anything to help survivors. I cannot find any words to describe the hell site. She saw people who no longer looked human. And my mother told me you couldn't understand the horrible situation even if I told you 100 times. Only survivor who saw it can understand. I think she was right. Uh, she lived to be 91. But my father entered Hiroshima City the day after the bombing. He never talked about the evil. I think he couldn't overcome the trauma. 40 years later, uh, he uh, became sick with leukemia and die. Many tourists asked me how long radiation lasted in Hiroshima. Nuclear fusion, the Hiroshima bomb was loaded with 50 kilogram uranium-235. Nuclear fusion caused the explosion. The explosion pushed the uranium out, so the fusion stopped suddenly. The inside bomb had a high temperature and high pressure, so the bomb melted or evaporated before full load was activated. Only about 800 grams of uranium were converted into energy of the heat and the radiation. And the amount of radiation emitted from the Hiroshima A bomb was much lower than the H bomb test or accident. Chernobyl or Fukushima nuclear plant, the bomb exploded in the sky and the hot air moved up in the cloud. Top of the mushroom cloud reached the stratosphere, so it flat. So radioactive spread all over the world. And another reason, the big typhoon hit Hiroshima on September 17th, a month after the A-bomb. The heavy rain washed the surface, contaminated soil away in the sea. After a typhoon, small amount of radiation remained, but it didn't affect human body so badly. People said nothing would grow Hiroshima for 75 years, but after a typhoon had passed, new green grasses uh, start to grow towards the end of that year. People gradually came back here. But people enter Hirosh uh, people starting moving uh, back to the city. But some survivors who are stuck here drank contaminated water with radiation. The radiation stayed in their bodies a long time. So some genes damage. Recent new cancer found among survivors. So radiation is very, very dangerous for us. And there are a lot of nuclear warheads in the world. The red number, red number shows bombs ready to be deployed. There are about 4,000, 4,000 warheads ready to be deployed around the world now. The power of nuclear weapons today is much greater than the able that devastating Hiroshima. And Mr. Oregon Nabi used to, uh, nuclear warhead far away. If nuclear weapons are actually used, the disaster will be horrible. There is no guarantee these nuclear weapons will not be used again. So I think the abolition of nuclear weapons is very, very important. Is it time? Please. Uh, at least 1,000 significant accidents were hitting until recently. Uh, in 1960s, uh, well, the U.S. almost detonated two nuclear bombs over North Carolina by accident. Do you know it about this? Lastly, now I will show you a paramatic photo of Hiroshima City after the A-bomb was dropped. Nuclear weapons are a threat to all humanity. 
only one atomic bomb completely destroyed to the city of Hiroshima. Many people lost their lives. Even now, a lot of people are still suffering from the effect of the A-bomb. To act, we need to think. It is very important to learn, feel, and think in order to act. It's a time. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Uh, she can stay after 12.50 if you have time, so please take time to talk to her. But before we close, I will ask uh, Dr. Fell to say a, a word of appreciation on behalf of the University of Finland. Uh, small present for you, please uh, take one. Uh, I don't want to get in the way of presents. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're honored to have you and to, you've taught us a great deal. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd like to present to you a small ah, token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Please let the party <laughs> continue. Small, <laughs> small present for you. I made a uh, paper clay, only hold here and pull. Oh. It's cute. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> Please uh, take one. <laughs> there are a lot of. Uh,